and one need the number of whom was a kingdom should visit me. It's a privilege. Mm. Mm? I knew you as Ogabi. Now the Kochendo. I'm scared. Of what? I don't know what to believe anymore. On different occasions, you've given me reasons to doubt me. God's made me to be. Take me as I am. Even I sometimes cannot fathom my being. Even I can't explain the things I do. And every time I question my mother on it, the answer I always get is that Harry. So child. And indeed, I have grown and lived to see myself as a special asset to the gods. Thank you for being that friend and brother I never had. Thank you for bringing my mother and I to our land. Thank you. Thank you, Ochen, for bringing peace and restoring the to my life. I brought you a little talk in this situation. Yes, my princess. Ah. I shall take my leave now, as the girls are taking me in a village to Thank you so much. Ochendo, may the gods continue to follow you.
Who are you and where are you coming from? My name is Osonda. Osonda Agwike. This is my wife and son. We are from Eziama. Let's take them to the palace. All right. Follow us. Who is he to you? My princess, he is my husband. Oh, your husband? He is my princess. I want him. Just for the night. He will return to you in the morning. My princess. You. This is my princess. Follow me. My princess, please, please. You can't do this to me, please, my princess. <laughs> Follow me. My princess. My princess, please. My princess, please. Mother. <laughs> Is your mission to my kingdom. Speak before I kill you. Your Highness. Believe me, we are honest people. We flee from Ezama because of our wicked princess. We are here for safety. Your Highness, you 
sent for me. Yes. These people claim to come from Aziama. Do you know any of them? Your Highness, like I said earlier, we are honest people. We ran away from Aziama because of uncontrollable greed and wickedness of our princess. She seized my land forcefully and sought to kill all of us. In fact, she denied us freedom. Yes, I know you. I have seen you fishing beside the river in Eziama. You are the daughter of Hakun. Yes. Kedifengako. Do not cry, my daughter. Your birth was historical. And your life divine. Do not resent the people of Aziama for the death of your parents. Severally, they have caused us pain and afflictions. The gods made you special. And special you have grown to become. You are a special child. So please stop crying. Please, my dear. I started walking in the palace before you. And so? 
I hope you know that. And so? Let me tell you something, huh? Since I was born, I have never seen nor heard that a woman professes her love to a man. Are you a woman? Do you have any dignity at all? Ndidi. Yes. Ndidi. Ndidi, are you insulting me? Ndidi, are you insulting me? Yes. I am insulting you. Eh? Wait, let me ask you a question. Eh? If Uche is to choose between both of us, don't lie, you. just say the truth. Who do you think he will choose between both of us? Who? No, just answer me. Who do you think? <laughs> Uche is a tall, handsome man. And he needs a tall girl like me. Not you, dwarf. You are just on the floor. Very brief. And you want Uchi to leave me as tall as I am to marry you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even if you are as tall as an Iroko tree. Hey, Ego, I will bring you down. How dare you? How dare you? I will crush you. I will tear you. Don't try it next time. You hear me? Don't ever try it this time. out of the palace just to see you. <laughs> his word and his people. They came to seek her and the marriage for his son Uchi. Hmm? I didn't know what to answer. That's why I sent for you. Hmm? So that I will give them a reply. Hmm? Talk to me now. Come to me. Talk to me. Okay, okay, mama. Tell them yes. I love him, I will marry him. Alright. Can you give me an answer now? I will now tell him to continue with the marriage preparations. Okay, Mama. Okay, Mama. Mama, you know I sneaked out of the palace. Let me rush back before someone says it. Okay. Don't over stress yourself. Yes, Mama. Okay. Bye bye. and cry when I remember the travels of our people. And I cannot wait for that day to come. A day when I shall look into her eyes and ask her why she delights in suffering her people, her own people. I am happier than you are. Really? Yeah. At least we'll not be doing this hide and seek anymore. We'll be able to express our love publicly. <laughs> my love. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. My love. My heart. <laughs> Come to think of it, if I did not approach you, I wouldn't know that you have been interested. <laughs> See who is talking. Are you able to summon the courage? Eh? That should teach you that anytime you, you see a girl that you like, 
don't hesitate to walk up to her hmm? and express your feelings before it gets too late. What if it was late on my own part now? Hmm? I just, I just <laughs> did now because I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> my love, my uh, before we leave, I just want you to give me a hug. Don't say no. I'm fine. Don't say no. Don't say no. Don't say no. Come on, give me a hug. I love to be I love you too. So, this is what you do, okay? You leave your duties in the palace and you come here to hug and play hide and seek like chickens. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. It's it won't happen again. We're sorry. Forgive us. It's it. You are sorry. You are sorry. Guards, arrest them. They have disappointed the palace and they will be punished accordingly. Please forgive us. We won't do it again. Please forgive us. Forgive us. We won't do it again. Young man, I'm a pen of police. to return to his Yamalan. For it is my desire to have peace return once more to my fatherland. Ochendo, no. You can't risk your life by going back to his Yaman. <laughs> yes. We've had so many odd stories about the wicked princess. Yes. And have you suddenly forgotten her threat on your aged mother? My bet to the land of Eziama was a big risk. My very existence was and still is a big threat to them. But the gods in their mercies, the gods in their purpose, sustained my life till this day. Their destiny may prevail. In due course, it shall be made manifest. Woman, yes, Your Majesty. We were aware that both of them have feeling for each other. That is why we gave them our blessings for them to marry. Woman, is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. They are already betrothed to each other. Hmm. I will have the best to see it. You disgrace. Both of you. Don't you know that it is your duty to teach your children that they should keep themselves sacred before marriage? Or oh, did your husbands marry you after working with you in the bushes? Eh? Instead of you to teach your children, you give them your support. And with your support, they couldn't even wait until after marriage to start ramping in the bushes. 
You know what? They have desecrated the land and this palace, and I will make sure they are punished accordingly. Hey, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> now, guards, take these two criminal faces, these two miscreants, take them to the back of the palace. Make sure you rub ground pepper into their private parts. Then, smoke them until there's no space on their backs. Take them into the village square and strip them naked and make sure they dance around the whole village. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, please. Go away, make people know you're sister. You're a disgrace to motherhood and you're a disgrace to womanhood. And because of that, you will partake in their punishment. Let this be a warning to any fool in this palace that thinks they can flaunt my orders and get away with it. The next time I catch any fool romping with another fool in this palace, what I will do to the person has never even been thought of. Goats, that is what you are. What is even wrong with you people in this village? What is wrong with you? Eh? Are you okay? Do you know what this is? No, listen! This is symbol of princess ship. This is the staff of authority as the beauty of the gods. And this is the symbol of ego ship. Reality! Please, please have mercy. You want me to forgive you? Yes, yes. You want me to forgive you, yes. No problem. I will forgive you, but on one condition. 
What is even making criminals like you smile is what I don't understand. Atro, Zule, Zule. Come on, make me move down. I'm not wine at you. Come on, Atro. It's great, man. We use the end of it to offer. I don't like what you're doing, eh? We're supposed to be in those after two market days. We're not supposed to be seen together and you're here. Would you please just go? My love, I can't stay that long with her seeing you. Uche, Uche, I want to see you too. But please, we mustn't be seen together. I can't bear the shame of dancing around the village naked again. I can't. The one we did is okay. Please just go now. I know, my love. No one saw me when I was coming. And now that I've seen you, I'm relaxed and satisfied. Uchibo, you know I want to see you too, but we can't see each other now. Understand? Please, please, please. 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 One of the guards reporting to the prison that Uche and Ndidi are still seeing each other. You have to leave, please. Please, as I'm talking to you now, she's on her, she's on her way to this place. Please, Mama, 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 we have to leave now. No, 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 I'm not leaving. If we have to flee together, Mama, we have to flee together. Let's leave. leave me. You can go. I can't leave this village because of my fellow woman. Uche, go. Mama, please, let's go. Please leave your head. I said I am not going. Mama, please. I am staying here. Let her do her worst. I'll be okay. Go. Mama, please. I said go. Where is your son? I don't know. You don't know. Guards! Your Majesty. Go into that hut and drag him out. Your Majesty, he's not here. You abominable excuse of a mother. So you knew your son was still committing abomination by still seeing that girl, and you kept quiet. Oh yeah, you kept quiet. Your Majesty, I have been married for long in this village, and I know it is not an abomination for a man to see and discuss with his betrothed for marriage arrangement. It's your call. What insolence. You reject of the gods. How dare you speak to me in that manner? How dare you? you, you your Majesty, the way you, you lead this Eziama, I wonder if truly you are the beauty of the gods. 
the real beauty of the gods. Then you will go free. But if I am the true beauty of the gods, let fire from the gods consume you. Are you sure they are not going to catch us? Trust me on this. I know the best route to escape from this village. Let me stay behind. Let me stay behind. Eh? Mama, please, let's go. Come on, let's go. 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 I know the best route. Let's go. What happened? Couldn't find her, Your Majesty. <laughs> that means they escaped with him. I think so, Your Majesty. Come, oh, shut up. You think so? What else do you do here? Lillian Ning wants it. But when it comes to catching anybody, you can't. Una mamba wants her. Fools! Your Majesty, I saw Uche, Udidi and her mother, heading towards two ways our neighboring village. Mr. Gilly. Your Majesty, I saw them from a distance. There was little I could do, Your Majesty. Hmm. Um, where um, um, why do you want to tell me? It's like you have forgotten that I am the lioness of Ezia Makito. Honestly, I am not happy. I'm not happy. The rate at which our people now flee to our neighbors is giving me concern. And if it continues, very soon there won't be anybody in this kingdom. My princess, we will do everything to stop them. What do you think we should do? We will send emissaries to their land and ask our people to return. Uh, and, and if they refuse? What if they refuse? <laughs> then they don't want peace and they will see the consequences. You are the beauty of the gods. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten my princess? You are the beauty of the gods. Hmm. You are very correct. <laughs> they shouldn't take me. They shouldn't. No. Thank you, madam. Oh. Ma. Uh -huh. Thank you, ma. Oh, oh. 
Greetings, Uchendo. Greetings. You go to Mori, the master to see you. I hope all is well. We caught some men from Eziama entering Umweze and took to the palace. Do you want to meet them? Good evening, Gako. Please. I have to be on my way. Ma, let me follow them. You're leaving too? Ma.
greet you, Ochenjo. Your Highness. You're welcome. Ah! Uche! Amadio! Asundu! You are here? Yes, I'm here. I'm so happy to have found you. How about your family? They are fine. What happened? What brought you here? It's a long story. I think it's a long story. Hey! Get it, Fengako. Your Highness, there are people from Ezama. Your Highness, we are emissaries from <coughs> Ezama I am Chivika. With me is Chivika. Right. State your mission. Mission. Your Highness, uh, our leader, Princess Wando, sent us to tell you that there are some miscreants from the Ezema Kingdom hiding in your kingdom. I do not have any miscreants in my kingdom. Your Highness, these people we are talking about are people who fled from Ezema because they committed heinous crimes. I don't believe you. Your Highness, Her Majesty knows you well as an honorable king and wants you to release these people to Ezeama so that justice can take its course. I have heard you. I will discuss this with my cabinet. Come back in two market days and I will give you a response. Your Highness, we appreciate your audience and we thank you very much. Uh, we shall be on our way. <laughs> Live long, Your Majesty. Your Highness, I hope you did not believe them. That message came from the same evil and wicked princess. The one who tried to kill my mother. So what do we do? Your Highness, sending my people back to Eziama will be sending them to their graves. They ran to you and hid under your protection. And protection, you shall supply them. Please don't turn your back on us now. I beg you. Your Highness, long live. Long live, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Highness, two market days have passed. So, Her Majesty Princess Nawando sent us to tell you that she awaits to receive the people of Ezema in your kingdom at the boundary. Now go, go and tell your leader that I, Igor Dumodu, the Okula car of Umeze, has denied her request. Hey, but your majesty, you promised me. Oh, speak no more on the issue. Speak no more on the issue. Because it will be over my dead body to allow those people to go back to her kingdom. Now go. Go and convey my message. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. And it is only one of you that will go back. Guards! Your Highness! Your Highness. Seize this man. Look, Your Highness, we keep Move. together. Move. Your Highness, we, we keep together. Or would you rather stay? Uh, no, no, I'll go and tell you. Dad! No, I'll go and tell the truth.
What happened to you? The girl from Woods has held his chair in the car captive. It's again. He refused to grant your request. He said over his dead body will he release the people of Eziama in his kingdom. Over his dead body, Opia. Okay? Over his dead body. <laughs> so that miserable looking king of Umweze has decided to flaunt my orders, Oria. Yeah? <laughs> but I will show him. I will show him why I am the only lioness in the jungle. has challenged us to battle. What? So we must refuse to release those miscants that are taking refuge in his kingdom. <laughs> Not only that, I also heard that the seer and her daughter have teamed up with Umweze. <laughs> My princess, I'm not going to watch. Hold our hands and treat this issue with kids' gloves. Or else we are going to lose the confidence of our people. Do something, my princess. Scrush Umweze. Umweze declared a battle. I would give them war. You are the eyes of the gods. I will crush. The king of Umweze. You are the man. beauty of the gods. That he is. And I will take my people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm born now. 
Ochendo, the warriors of Umeze are under your care and authority. Use them as you deem fit. Thank you, Your Highness. And um, if there is anything, anything that you need, please, don't hesitate to tell me. Very well. Your Highness, I'd like to assure you of the safety of Mweze and every other person committed under my care. I shall take my leave now. We have preparations to commence. Oh. May the gods and our ancestors strengthen you. Thank you, Your Highness. Are you going to sit, fold your arms, and watch Umweze take our people into slavery? Are you going to watch and allow Umweze to take our people into slavery? No! No son or daughter of Eziama deserves to be a slave. So, we will fight. We will fight Umweze. And we will rescue our people from slavery. Ezeama does not breed slaves. Yahume, we breed warriors. So, you will go to Umweze and give them a taste of what we can do. The gods of my fathers will protect you and give you victory. Are you ready to defend your fatherland? Yes! Are you ready to fight for your fatherland? Yes! 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 wants to assure you that we are ready. We are ready to fight and say we are ready. Good. 
I want you all to stay focused, stay energized, stay strengthened, stay courageous, stay concentrated. The battlefield will not be an easy one, but by the gods, oh by the gods, we are victorious! to go to defend your name. <laughs> Why not of Asia, ma? your way. You have been fortified! No weapon can penetrate your skin. No weapon can penetrate your skin. Strike yourselves to be assured no man can withstand you. Now go! Go and defeat those cowards! For who is it? Go! <laughs> Ochendo! 
the warriors of Asia are approaching you, Moise. And they are battle ready. Warriors of Eziama, we are brothers and sisters from the same parents with a common peaceful disposition. Instead of fighting ourselves with weapons of war, let us all unite and fight the wicked princess before she destroys our land. You are no more our sister. You are a rebel and traitor. You must die! <laughs> <sighs> Boss of our land, confirm your choice of the princess as the beauty of the gods. I am only a messenger. Be the staff of authority. Choosing one from the gods. Now leave before you cause more harm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My princess, I have taught you everything you should know about divination. Do not fail the people of Aziyama. And remember your promise. <laughs> Muduna, you can count on me, okay? Don't worry. I will take this substance. Take this substance and rub all over your body. It will radiate to your beauty before the gods. <laughs> Do you really want to be the chief priest? Beauty of the gods. Honestly, no one can say no to such an offer. <laughs> no. I will make you the chief priest. But you have to do everything I say. Princess. Your wish is my command. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now, come and feel me. <laughs> you mean I should feel you? Yes. Hey, hey, 
Greetings, Your Highness. <laughs> Any message from the warriors of Eziama? Not yet. But don't worry. I have this strong feeling that by sunset tomorrow, our brave warriors will be back. And they will tell us how they conquered Umweze and rescued my people. Beauty of the gods, your words are reassuring. My brothers, as you can see, I am neither a traitor nor a rebel. Let us all join hands and fight for peace in Iziyama. All of you relax. Food will be ready shortly. Look at this waist. I'm at your service anytime. Anytime. I like to feel your strong arms. You know, around me. You know, I have it. I have it, it in abundance. It takes me to another realm. I have it in abundance. Come on, just. Come on, just. Who can put that back? What is it? I couldn't tell how it happened. I had it! No Who overpowered you and held the brave warriors of the Aesiama captive? Ogade, the daughter of the seer. Ogade, I think she possesses some strange powers. Uduko? Uduko, the great goddess. Trust in your powers. You have never disappointed any of your worshippers. Mba no, mba. Please, mm. I am begging you, do not let the enemies laugh at us. Do not let our enemies bring us to shame. I am begging you, Uduko, listen. I am going for a battle. And I want you to empower me. Please, empower me. Give me powers. Let me make you a promise. If I win, I will offer you a human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. The kind of sacrifice that you like. Hmm? But please, empower me. Empower me. Where are they? Your wickedness drove them away. <laughs> if you know what is good for you, release them to me now. That will be when I'm long dead and gone. You don't deserve to be their leader. What? You. How dare you? How dare you talk to the beauty of the gods in such a manner? Traitor! You will surely pay for this.
people of Umwezi for your love, support and hospitality towards us. Indeed, you have been a great father and ruler to us all. The time to go home has come. My people need me now. The mantle of leadership has fallen on me. Finally, peace has returned to Iziama. Your Highness, Though I be far away in my fatherland, bear in mind that in my heart, Umwezi occupies a big space. Do not hesitate to beckon on me if and when the need arises. Echendo. Igwe. When may the member of Umwezi? Your Highness. May the gods give you the wisdom, strength, and courage to lead the people of Asia to prosperity. Ise. Go. Go and lead your people. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Oh, our daughter, Ochendo, one name and number, child of the gods, of the river. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Full-blooded daughter of Eziyama, we invited you here to tell you how our hearts are full of joy and our mouth full of gratitude to you mm. for rescuing this our land from the hands of that evil princess and her mm. cohorts. We couldn't have chosen any other leader than you. As you are aware, preparations are in top gear for your coronation in two market days. Okay. <laughs> My elders, I thank you. I do not take credit for what the gods used me to do for my land. Instead, I thank the gods for counting me worthy enough to use me to deliver my people from captivity. The people of Izyama need to seek the face of the gods. Before the coronation, on the day of the coronation, before the event proper, I'd like every family member to come along with them, their farm products or livestock for as many as have it. <clears throat> we will present these items to the gods and request of them for a fruitful farming season. Also, we will seek of the gods to reveal to us the true beauty of the gods and also 
a true SMO. I see. <laughs> so please tell the villagers to come along with their farm stuff. We will do everything you have said. What? <laughs> you remain grateful. Oh? Oh, yeah. Oh, What made the number? to all of us to appease the gods of our land and cleanse our land of various atrocities committed to request of the gods to bless us with a fruitful farming season and fruitful farm yields my people bring out your gifts to the center space
Ocento. 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 Ocento.